All right, my friends, let's get started. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Here we are, another Kathy Makes a Card, and I'm so glad you came to join me live here in the, well, in the craft slash dining room. Seeing a few people pop in this morning. I see, well, I see someone from Scotland. I see Donna and Vicki Donnelly. I see uh, Roxanne and Karen. Someone said the other day when I was going live, it's just like Romper Room. Now, how many of you are old enough to remember Romper Room? It was a show, you know, and I, I for some reason thought it was a Canadian show, but I think it, was a, it wasn't. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. So that's my Romper Room introduction for all of you. But I love seeing you all pop in. I see Simon this morning. I see Stacy from Michigan. Nick, Nicola, Nicola. Oh my gosh. I, I'm terrible with the pronunciation. It's that British thing, you know, anyway, I'm excited to get started today with a card project because I've got another set of stamps from my favorite thing stamps. And I had used the original release and I'm going to show you those cards before we get started. And once I saw the new set, I'm like, oh yeah, we're making something with that too. But when I originally had the stamps, the first ones that I'm about to show you, the cards. I didn't have the dies. So I, I designed without dies. This time I have the dies and I'm super excited to make something. And hey, Kenny, I see you and Patty, Robbie. I've got your comments floating up here. Emma Eaton, Barb, Becky. I tell you, online is my jam these days, people. I was uh, teaching at an event last weekend for the magazine that I designed for Scrapbooking Cards today. Super fun to have probably some of you are here today that were in the class. And if you are, definitely let me know. Of course, if you're catching this on replay, the live chat will play once everything's processed out, but you can always leave a comment below once it's on replay and I'm happy to answer any questions. Plus, I'm gonna save some time at the end to answer questions because I know how to do the split screen. I know. All right, and yes, it's nice seeing you all pop in. Oh, so good. All right, shall we? Shall we go to the table? Hello, it's me in the circle. And I wanna show you the stamps that we're gonna be using today. This is the More Brilliant Butterflies. Now, before I show you what we're gonna do, I wanna show you two cards that I made with the original uh, Brilliant Butterfly set. Now, I have a video for this that I think I have a link below, and if I don't, I'll, I'll pop that link in. And this one, I don't, I think I just did this for Instagram, but this was the original set and I, I didn't have the dies. I just stamped, you know, did like, I think it was three step stamping and had so much fun with this. And when I saw the new set come out and the fact that I have the dies, well, I got a little excited. So these are the stamps that I'm going to be using today and I actually want to show you what I think is kind of cool about this set is they do give you a stamping guide. So if you first get this and you're like, I don't really get it. Yeah, it, it's, it, they, they got you. So way to go. My favorite thing, stamps. Now I am going to set this aside for a second and we're going to start out with some stamping. Now, normally I would show you all my supplies, but you know what? Time is money. Time is money. So let's start out with stamping first because I'm going to be making a, yeah, it's very similar. Nicola, Nicola. You're going to have to email me. A uh, I know you did, and I, I can't remember, but here we go. You know, I can only do so much. There you go. Okay. What I want to do is create a simple card with one butterfly. So I am going to start out here by taking this guy, all right, this little guy here. I'm just going to stamp you know, right, right about here. I'm not worried about wasting paper because you know what? Sometimes what is it spare the child and spoil the paper i don't know you know i don't really i don't really have all the sayings i wish i did but i'm gonna pick this up with my misty door and i'm gonna grab blue embossing magic oh linda's getting her hair colored that is that's a great way to you know spend <laughs> watching craft videos and getting your hair colored i love it i should do that what a difference it might make this is all natural baby okay powdering powdering up because going to take some, oh, look at that, some embossing ink, and I'm going to be stamping and embossing this in silver, okay? I'm going to see more of you popping in. Hello. Yes. Okay. We're going to ink up our stamp really well. Get that nice coating. 
And again, I apologize if it looks like my table moves every time. I, I've told many of you who've watched this table, it's gotta go, it's gotta go. It's just, it's not sturdy enough. Pressing this down and I'm, where is my, oh yeah, I'm gonna grab. Now there's hair on this, that's great. Most of you, if you watch Gina K, you know this as a Chucky tool. I was gifted this from a lovely woman who runs a little Etsy shop called Stamper's Secret. And she is also making this lovely tool. And it's great because uh, it doesn't hurt. I can't press down, but this, I can put pressure on the doorknob and it's great. So I'm gonna get my nice impression here, just making sure it's all adhered beautifully. We're gonna open this up and I'm gonna take this out now. Let me move my Misty out of the way. And I'm gonna bring in my little piece of paper here, grab my clothespin. Oh, Simon, you wouldn't say that if you were filming on it. I'm serious, the table looks charming, but it moves. And when you're trying, when you're working with what you have for a, from a filming standpoint, I'm telling you, that's not great. Oh, Emma ordered, yeah, Debbie, or the Debbie tools, and there's there's another one. Maybe I'll show you that one too, because she sent me a bunch of them. She's just a lovely retired woman, and her husband is making these. And she sent one because she knew I was having wrist problems. And you know, Gina uses one too, because her, her neighbor Chuck, or I think it was her neighbor, made it for her. Look at that. So I love it. It really does make a huge difference uh, in my wrist pain, and I kind of have to be careful with that. In fact, true story, because I, I know you love the true stories. Before I started filming, I was having a little wrist pain this morning, so I decided, in, instead of just working all morning, I took a break and sat down in the living room and watched an episode of The Resident. Thank you, it's my new favorite medical show. All right, now, I'm going to heat set this right now to get the nice silver shine, okay? Oh my goodness, someone is up at 3 a.m. in Australia. Maybe the sound of the heat tool will put you to sleep. So here we go. All right, and I love seeing your comments pop in. You know how distracted I get. All right, here we go. Let's melt our powder. All right, look at that. All right, this is a beautiful powder. Do they get it all? Let's see, can we see all the, see all the shine? Ooh, look at that, look at that. Okay, well, I'm gonna put this to the side. Now here's where we're going to start die cutting. And I think I'm gonna zoom in here. Let's see, let's see if I can find my zoom in pan just a little, just a little, there we go. All right, as I said, I didn't have the dies for the, uh, the last time I had the set and now I do. So it just kind of opens up some possibilities. Obviously you don't need, you know, you don't need to have the dies for everything. And also you can always fussy cut. Let me tell you, I got really good at fussy cutting uh, during the month of, well, what we like to call it, Simon says stamp, stamp timber, because I didn't, I didn't have a lot of the coordinating dies for the stamp set. So I got very good at fussy cutting, but here's, here's what we're gonna do. Now, now, now let's be, uh, maybe I should stop talking so much. You'll figure this out the first time you do it, if you if you get this set, because you line it up just to make sure that you're cutting the wings properly. See that? I think I need to come up just a little bit there. And I'm gonna get my head over here a little bit. Do I need to come over a little? All right, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but I'm gonna put my little, this is this uh, Easy C tape. It's like purple tape, you know, and I guess it is purple in color, right? Uh, Oh, hello from the UK. Tally ho. Cheers. I wish uh, I wish you well across the pond where it's probably, well, closing in on dinner, I'm guessing, right? All right, this is good. And so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pan out just a little, bring my die cut machine in. Now, I have been using my Spellbinders Platinum 6 as much as I've been using my Gemini. But I like to do this for, you know, these types of videos because my, my, uh, Gemini is over my shoulder and the Spellbinders, I'm telling you, it's a great machine for portability to be able to fold up and it cuts like a dream. And really I have used this one more than any other die cut machine. So it, it's, it's a goodie. 
In fact, how many of you saw Jennifer McGuire's recent uh, review of the top die cut machines of 2020 and 2021? I watched it and I thought it was great. Um, she, she I, I will admit, she got me thinking about that Anna Griffin machine. And uh, I already have two, so I probably don't need three. All right. Oh, Captain Kangaroo. Sorry, shiny comments. Okay, he is Canadian. Now, here's what we're going to do. Gonna bring my Misty back in here. Oh, I guess I could. Let's uh, let's pop this out so you can see. Oh, look at that beautiful die cut. And I know what you're. Uh, Alexa, stop! Oh, stop! Oh my gosh! Okay, I try to remember all the things that you're supposed to do. One of them is unplug. She who shall not be named. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm just gonna say it. You live. And you learn. All right, but what I'm going to do here, uh, let's get this off. I don't need the purple tape there. You never know what's going to happen in live crafting. I think that's, uh, well, I think that's the story I'm going with today. I didn't expect she to show up. Okay, we're going to pop this right back in because I'm going to be putting my die cut back in, but I want to show you something because I'm kind of excited about this. This is a little, it's called a Chef in a Dash Salt Cellar. And I use this to keep my stamp chamois. The reason I like it so much is it doesn't close all the way. It lets air in. So your stamp chamois, you do have to wash it every now and then. You know how these are, right? They get smelly. But what's exciting is they were very hard to find online. And now Simon Says Stamp is going to be carrying these. They're on, I think the product is listed. They're going to be ordered. And um, I've used this for three years and, well, almost three years. Love it. It's dirty. It could use a I'm looking at promise, as they say, but all right. Now I'm going to take an extra magnet here, pop this in, and now that my stamp is clean for all intents and purposes, how many of you? Uh, no, I was not yelling at my kid. Oh, the weight of my cardstock, Kelly, is 110 pound Nina Solar White Classic Crest. And just so you know, I do have all the supplies. Well, most they're linked below and anything that I am going to use above and beyond, I will most definitely uh, update this after the live because sometimes I change my mind. But here's the thing. One of the things I love about this set is it shows you with a little outline, these things go together. So you know, okay, here's part of my wings. And we're going to go ahead and get this part positioned. So the reason I want to have this in here is because I'm going to stamp over the embossed area and the embossing will resist what I have stamped. But you know what I need to do first? I'm going to put a magnet here and I'm actually going to stand up and look over it. Because what I'm going to do is get this positioned right. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? I'm just kind of taking a look here. Centering that eh, right about there. Because I feel like if it's off a little, it's totally fine. The die cut has already been done, right? So I'm going to pick that up. Just take a look here. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Now, you ready for some fun? Okay, I think I, I, think I can get it all in. Here's what we're going to do. I have a, two, a set of blending foams, okay? And these are all the new domed phones. And I actually put little labels on here yesterday, not knowing. I, uh, I was working on labels and then I, I sent a message to Tim Holtz and he's like, oh yeah, we have these. <laughs> so I'm always trying to make it harder. That, that's my MO. But what I want to do here is I want to stamp on a blend onto the, uh, the, the wings. I want to make a rainbow blend. I've never done this with any success, but I'm telling you, I did play around with this a little to make sure it works. And uh, it's pretty good. Pretty oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, the fancy strapless bra. I'm sorry, I just saw that comment. I am going to use the bra. That's it. Wings or bra, you decide. But here's, here's what I'm going to do. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to potch this on. Now, you may not know this, but potch is a word. It's not really in the dictionary that I know of, but my daughter invented the word potch when she was a child. She, she used to say, mom, I'm just going to potch this down a little. And to this day, we think it's the cutest little word that my daughter has ever said. And so we still say potch in our house. Now I am going to stamp the top of the bra. I'm sorry. Now I can't not see it. 
I cannot unsee what has been said. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, yep. Okay, it's going to be good. Let's lift. Now this is going to come up with it because it's sticky, but wait till you see. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Oh yes. Okay, I'm going to pop them back in, or her, and I'm going to do a little more pink. I want to want to deepen that up because you know you know our little oxides you know they're a little chalkier, and I might not have this lined up perfectly, and that's okay because I can see it a little on the edge. But the whole point of this is to show you how to play with color on your stamp. Boop. All right. Now that's a nice that's a nice amount of pink, and I can always come back. But I am not going to clean that off. Instead, I'm going to move on to the spiced marmalade. Okay. All right, How, how's it going out there? Questions, you guys doing okay? You know I can't craft an answer. So instead, we're gonna, we're gonna do some more potching. So let's potch. So I can overlap here with the orange, no biggie, right? The, that's what's nice about the foams is they allow you to, well, I guess you're bouncing, right? It's kind of a bouncing technique. But with us, this channel, we're going to call it potching. You're going to do a potch technique here. And so now, let's get this guy and press transfer that. Well, Simon, aren't you kind? And I do want you to know, I didn't get it lined up perfectly, but I want everyone to realize, you know what? You're, it's a handmade card, right? It's not Hallmark. Jennifer, quote Jennifer McGuire or someone. I think that was Jennifer who said that. So that's okay. They don't always have to be perfect. Of course, I love it when everything lines up, but it's still going to be pretty, I think. All right, coming up. That's looking pretty good. Now, there's a little area in there that I could probably give a lick and a promise to, so guess what? That's the second time I've used that phrase. Has anyone ever heard that phrase? Because I, I swear it makes me feel like an old, cute little old lady who's talking about getting her house cleaned. And believe me, I wish someone would come and do that. I'm going to give a little extra attention right in there. And, oh, nailed it. Okay, moving on to the third color. And again, I'm not wiping this off at all, right? Don't need to. The pink, oh, I'm sorry, I need to, uh, the pink is Kitsch Flamingo, which I am obsessed with. I feel like I've used this on every project I've been doing lately. Oh, it looks like there's some schmutz on my stamp. Hold on a second. Got it, you gotta get the schmutz off. Um, the orange is spiced marmalade. Here we go. Let's get, get you in there. Okay. And the yellow is mustard seed. Again, lower potch. Potching it up. I can't wait to see potch um, become a thing. And then someone will post, um, stop trying to make potch happen. <laughs> I do love mean girls. Okay. Oh. Isn't that pretty? Look at the blend. It's so magical. And if you, I mean, I know I've seen like, I've seen Christina Warner do this six ways to Sunday, but I have never done it. And the fact that you can keep going over it. Oh, Mindy, you say pounce. Well, aren't you a little feline? I think that looks beautiful. Do you see it? Okay. All right. How do I keep the orange from contaminating the yellow on the brush? Well, you know what? Here's the beautiful thing. Look at that. It doesn't even look, I think because when you stamp off the color, right, there's not that much left on the brush. So then you can bring in that other color and it really doesn't transfer. Look at this. None of these, I mean, maybe you see a little yellow on the orange brush, but honestly, I think that's fine. Again, when you stamp that on and when you're bringing that stamp back, it just doesn't retain as much of the color. And so I haven't, and I've done this a couple of times because I wanted to make sure for today's live that what I did worked. Because, you know, it's not, they're not all home runs. Although I think this is very pretty. And yeah, even though it's slightly misaligned, we're going to make it. We're going to get through it together. Okay. Now I need the bottom. The, uh, we're not going to come up with any cute nicknames for this. We're just going to call this the lower wing fill. That's what it is. The lower wing fill. And what I'm going to do is come in here, right? 
get that lined up right about there. I'm not going to take any chances that this one's not going to get lined up. I think this will be fine. Picking that up. Oh, see, very sticky. And yes, I uh, I am a Minnesotan. I do say ope. Do you say ope where you're from? People in New York. Haley, do you say ope? Can I throw the cleaning cloth in the washer? Yes, Beth, you can. Now, do you want to dry it? No, you do not. Do not dry it. I don't know about fabric softener. I use uh, fabric softener every time I do the wash. So the way I wash my stamp chamois is I just uh, take some dish soap, hot water, wash it in the sink, and then soak it with like, like a drop full of bleach and just get it smelling really fresh. But I'm telling you, uh, this little... This little holder is really nice for keeping it relatively fresh. All right, we're moving on to Twisted Citron. The king, the king of colors, the queen of colors. It's just, it is, it is my favorite color. And I'm going to, I'm going to potch quite heavily on here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to potch it up. Yeah, Valencia, I, I feel that. I, I had a thought too, but we're, we're just, you know, when you're, when you're stamping in layers, your mind can go places. Okay, there we go. Now I'm, I'm going a little heavy on the Citron. Make sure we're in. And, and I, one thing that I think you noticed, I'm just putting it all back in with where the outline is of the die because it's helpful, right? It does look like a little booty. All right, it's gonna come up, pick it up like that. Oh my word, that looks good gorgeous like look at the blend look at the blend oh that is so cute you know i i don't even know maybe i'll do just a tiny bit more right there okay just at the top to deepen it a little more that looks better than i could have hoped and yes folks who say oh there's a good chance you're from the midwest or somewhere in the center of the country now here's a question for you i'm not gonna clean that off and again because i'm not too worried about contamination. I have a broken china, right? I don't know if that color is even remotely accurate anymore. Or I have a peacock or no, mermaid lagoon. But I feel like I don't want this to overpower and I'm going to show you one that I did with mermaid lagoon. But I'm going to do this one with broken china, all right? Yeah, op. And I and I say it to the point that like it's unconscious. Even my husband will look at me and be like, you know, you're not from here. I'm like, I don't know. I got you. All right. We're loading up our brush and we're going to come in here like that and just punch it to the bottom. Oh boy. I've gone into whisper mode just a little because I don't want to take away from the, and also, you know, if you get, um, you can get a little of the ink on your misty door. It doesn't really matter. Let's start small because you can't take it away, right? I think that's going to be pretty. And then I might do one more green. Hard to say. Let's see what it looks like. <gasps> I think we're good. I think we're good. I see the broken china votes coming in. <laughs> we are not doing another step. I think that is exactly what I wanted. So here I have taken, and even though, again, my die cut was a little off, and I want to be careful here because I don't want to mess up with fingerprints. I'm a little bit off, right? I got my stamp a little off, but isn't that pretty? Okay, next up, we're gonna make a card, but I wanted to pull something that I thought would be really cute with this, and I think you're gonna love this. I love this stamp set, and in fact, come to think of it, I need to put more links underneath the video once this video is done, because this is a stamp set called uh, Sentiment Editions from Waffle Flower. They are so cute and so minimal and super all purpose. And there are dies to cut out the greetings. So I love this concept and I love, let's see here. I love doing thank you cards. So let's get my wings and put them away. It's like thank you and birthday. You know, you, you always have a need for a thank you because thank you can be, well, let's just be real. It can be for just about anything. I'm going to just gently, you know, don't want to, muck that up or get it misaligned and I'm going to also get out the die now I have my dies in order here and I know that this one is for is it this way yes I'm going to set that right there 
but I used I used these on a, another project and I just think it's a very smart design. So what I'm gonna do is, again, let's just drop it into place. I don't wanna like tweak it somehow. Oh, I actually think it would be fun. I'm gonna set this beautiful, my, my little beautiful fly. Let's, let's go over here, okay. Um, yeah, uh, I would like to have a t-shirt that says, oh, I'm sure they make them. I have a goal in life to one day just only wear shirts with topography on it. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Okay, so here we go. Oh, hello over in Surrey. More friends from the UK. A place I hope to go someday. I've only been to England once, and I didn't even get to see any of the country. I was in Heathrow Airport. I was seven years old. And my family was on vacation. We lived in Africa. We lived in Liberia on the west coast of Africa when I was a little kid. And we vacationed in Europe and we flew through England. And all I ever saw of England was Heathrow. Seven years old. No memory of it at all. I love that story. Okay. <laughs> I have so many stories. And you know, the beautiful thing about my stories is everyone in this house, they've heard them all. You, not so much. Okay, now hopefully I didn't stamp that too hard. I'm not gonna spend time cleaning. We're gonna go ahead and get her out. We're gonna get this out and get this. I think that's a good enough impression. Let's go with silver. Oh, yes, okay. Just peeking at comments. And I'm not sure what the lag time is on the stream. That's another thing. I uh. I changed some settings on my live stream thanks to my friend Tim Holtz telling me a, a little tip or two because he, he knows things. And uh, I changed the latency, but I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference. Okay, that looks good. So many terms that, that I've learned since I've started going live on YouTube. And I have to have to tell all of you for coming and joining. You're helping me. You're helping me get better at teaching live because I think it's, you know, making cards live is challenging. I, I have a lot of respect now for the fact that my friend Gina Kay or Christina, they, you know, they can knock these out. So this is good practice for me. All right. So we're going to emboss this and again in silver. Yeah, I can imagine Laura getting out of the, getting out of the Heathrow, probably, probably better. That beautiful shiny silver. Isn't that pretty? Oh, love it. Now, let's get the die. And I'm gonna let this cool just for a second. Have you ever done the thing where you uh you come and touch your embossing powder way too fast and then all of a sudden you just like smeared it? <clears throat> I learned that the hard way. So I'm going to tape this down, but have a little sip of coffee. Because it's still early enough, although. <laughs> Every time I do it, I do remember someone left a comment once. More crafting, less coffee drinking. I'm like, honey, you got to get your priorities straight. They are both equally important. Am I right? Okay. So let's see. Uh, graduate from Washington State. Oh, I am from Washington State. So I'm like, wait, did I say I graduated from what? No, I didn't. I, I am from Washington State, born in the fine city of Seattle, Washington, on top of the hill at Seattle General. Grew up in Everett, Washington, a fine town, and moved to Texas. Hey, Carissa. Moved to Texas for a short stint. Lived in the DFW Metroplex for four years, then met my husband, and then I've been in Minnesota ever since. And I have a stronger accent than anyone in my family. So go figure. But I will tell you too, when I lived in Texas, I also had a Southern accent for no reason other than I just thought it sounded better. Okay, here we go. Let's get our die cut machine. Ew, this thing is heavy. This thing is heavy. We're a little zoomed in. All right. Coffee and crafting, I tell ya. Oh, okay. Simon Hurley was the one who got you here, Brenda Huff. Well, Simon, thank you. Thank you, Simon Hurley. You know, when Simon did his review video, um, which you may or may not have seen, but he did a, well, he did a reaction video to one of my tip videos. I got more people following me over here. So thank you. Thank you, Simon. 
You know what I like to say about that kid? He's going places. Okay, let's pop this out and let's see how well we did. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, look at that. How elegant is that? I love it. I love that you actually have the dies to cut out those greetings. So definitely a set that I love. Now let's get, let's get some things in here because we're ready to build a card. Look at us, we are plowing along here. Now, and here's why I did it, because look how pretty that is together with the silver. Oh, love it. Okay, I need my tool here. You know, another thing that has been kind of cool for me uh, in the last few weeks is the fact, I'll just pull these out again, that my wood handled tools have gotten new life thanks to these new domed blenders, which are a new product to me. I never used foam tools with any success at all. And I feel like I have a whole new craft tool medium at my, at my disposal, which is really great. Okay, I am going to score this at five and a half. Of course, this is a piece of cardstock that is cut in, it's well, it's 11 by four and a quarter. Get that nice little score line there. I run out of space of where to put things when I'm doing these lives. All right, we'll just give that a press because I'm not sure where my other bone folder is, but I don't think I can reach it right now. I like to tape the card base closed because this is so simple that you, uh, for me, now I say it's the colloquial you. Um, I, can't, I can't design on something that's popping up, okay? So I'm gonna bring these things over here and now I need to grab foam squares, scissors, and here's what we're gonna do. Let's, let's, let's get into surgery mode. We're gonna pop up our butterfly. Oop. <laughs> there we go. And you know, I don't need a, oh, gosh, I'm just flicking. I don't need a ton, but I wanna make sure, and maybe I'll just, careful like that, they just keep popping off. Just kinda wanna put one everywhere. You know, good enough to mention. I love the thin foam adhesive from Scrapbook Adhesive because I don't know if you're gonna be able to make that out. See how thin that is? Compared to the uh, regular ones, it's just a little bit more subtle. And I feel like it gives you just enough dimension. You know, if you don't want your card to be super popped up and bulky, this my friends, this is the way to go. Okay, so we got that. I think, I think that's gonna be good. Oh my gosh, look at what happened. The ink is not, <laughs> Can you see that? Look at my card base. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna flip it. Cause no one will look on the back and say, what'd you do there? That is so wild. This isn't, oh, because I didn't wipe off the embossed resist. Okay, hold on. I need a cloth. Holy buckets, friends. I forgot that I am, okay, now I don't wanna touch anything cause now I'm just gonna mess it all up. I forgot to wipe the ink away from <laughs> the silver powder. Oh, friends, live and learn. I see a nice comment from Marguerite about my nails. Well, at least my nails look good. I make mistakes with my crafting. I forgot to wipe away the embossed resist. How many of you were shouting at me in the comments? <laughs> Can they? I mean, look at my hands. Okay, we're gonna calm down and we're just gonna, we're gonna set that there. Actually, let's move this aside because I need to see. Okay, I need to breathe. I need to cut some thin guys here. So let's go whoop, whoop, like that. Now we're really getting into the surgery part, right? We're just picking it up and we're gonna, we're gonna pop up our delicate little greeting. This is just kind of how I'll, you know, get the swoop de doos supported. And of course, your little topography lesson for the, well, let's see, let's do it this way. Your little topography lesson, those are ascenders, the part of the letter that goes up from the center and the part that comes down, those are descenders. How mini drama, yes, I like drama in my card making for sure. I think that's, uh, well, I think that's pretty obvious because look at what's happened today. Okay, I'm gonna keep popping a few here. Where's the really thin ones? Okay, get up here, get up here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so tiny, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it work. We are making it work. Well, that's stuck to nothing. Uh, come on now, get off my finger. Okay, 
well, it's going to be fine. It won't have its backer on, but I'm okay with that because, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we're ready to go. It's a very simple card, right? I mean, what's going to be done when it's done, it's going to be very simple, but I think, I think it's going to be pretty, even with my slightly misaligned and my almost ruined backer. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let me get my roller. Oh, excuse me. Now, let's make sure this card base is actually white. <sighs> did I get ink on here too? You know, I think I did. I think I'm getting ink all over here. So let me grab my mono sand eraser. Now you're just seeing part of my shoulder. Oh, yeah, we're going to get into some sound effects shortly. Seriously, I think my fingers are just covered. Someone asked me the other day, how are you such a neat neck when you're crafting? And apparently, <laughs> apparently I'm not. Okay, I think that's going to be fine though. Again, can I just wash my, I wish I had like a cleaner for my hands and I don't. So this is the rough placement of what I want to do. I want to have my butterfly in the center. I want to have that right there. And actually, maybe I should place that first. I think I will. Sandra, thank you for your encouragement. <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm going to pop this down first. So what I'm going to do here is take, well, you know what, let's do this first. Take the backers off. And I mean, you already had that one off. Get them off there. Oop. See, I also can say oop. 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 They're all coming off. You know, it's funny too. It's like when I'm, when I'm in here crafting, it, it's so, uh, it's so quiet and uh i wish i could have music on in the background but then my youtube channel would get uh flagged for copyright infringement unless of course they were original songs that i wrote myself and i play no instruments so let's just say it would be a lot of hand clap songs okay now let's pick you up here right on that so that we're on the right side now oh my gosh my my um look at my glue it's flowing like the Ganges River. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but here's what I'm going to be doing. Just gonna put a little dollop on each of the foam squares because these things, they stick so hard and fast and I wanna have just a little bit of playtime. Yeah, that's a, that's, I think my bottle is getting ready to see its better days. And that's also, friends, this is a little glue holder that I keep, uh, it's from Make It By Marco on Etsy. I put a little piece of tape on, in the base just for that reason. Okay, so let's see if I can get this as straight as I can get it from side to side and just pop it down. I think I need to move you over a tiny bit because I want to preserve the side to side. And then before I before I commit, I just want to make sure, oh, <laughs> let's get that in the, I want to make sure that the, uh, the thank you body part is equal. Yeah, it looks good and press. All right, now let's not get mucky muck all over here. And where's my, there you go. Now we're gonna take the backers off here. But now let me go back to waxing philosophic about these squares. So I think when I get mine, they come in a multi-pack. So I have thin foam squares and the regular foam squares and they're great, they're just great, great size. I probably could have used the larger and not the minis on this, but I just know how thrilling it is to watch, to watch people remove this. You know, I, <clears throat> yeah, I should get some, what are they called? Like the, hand, just wipes, just have handy wipes in my space. And that would allow me, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Things are going a little crazy. That would probably allow me to, uh, oh, I want to do liquid too. Sorry. Uh, to have clean hands. But that's really, I don't, yeah, I don't often get, things all over. Uh, so that was, a, that was a first. So now I'm just hovering this right over the center. I'm just kind of visualizing it side to side. So simple, right? It's just such a simple design. I want to make sure that is in the middle though. And before I, oh, before I completely commit, this is why I like that liquid glue. Let's just bring you here and make sure the wings are even. And that is not even. See, that's why we do it. We go, well, is it? Pop. You are not lining up at all for me. Okay, let's get you up a little bit like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna press on this without my fingers. 
and just let that sit for a second. Ah, oh, hand sanitizer. That would be good too. And Lord knows we got enough of that to sink a battleship. Okay, to finish off this card, oh, sorry, just hit my microphone. I am going to use something that I forgot about. And this is one of those things that you ever forget about things that you have. That happens to me all the time. And one of the things that I have forgotten about are these. Now I looked online this morning. I, I'm not sure if they're in stock in my links. They're at Simon's Stamp, but I think they have some at Waffle Flower. They're just clear dots, right? How many of you have like those glass, um, you know, the gl glass ones? Well, I, I don't have a ton of those left and I just love these because they're self-adhesive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up a few. Let's see here. I'm gonna do, uh, and I do love, well, and I don't know how sticky it is. I love to use my craft pick for this too. So I'm just going to, you know, put a few down. The thing that's kind of cool about these, uh, the stickiness of this is you can actually, if you want, you can kind of move them around a bit. They don't, they don't necessarily stick really hard and fast when you first place them. So if you want, you know, you can just, you know, get a little, get a little creative. You can move it around a little. I just wanted to have a little bit of shine here. And I think, is that one, what's, I think what I'm gonna do here is I think I might just put one on his wing too. So I think that's kind of cute. I never put things on the actual wings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the dice because I got another card to show you and you'll see and you can decide which one looked better. <laughs> Normally, oh, look at that. Okay, now, okay, now we have the five. Why do, why do we do five? Well, because five is an odd number and odd numbers in design are very pleasing. They're very visually pleasing. They're energized. We like them. They create a rhythm. But that, that's my finished card project for today. What do you think? I, I really, when I, when I kind of came up with this idea last night, I was pretty excited. So I'm going to show you that. And I'll show you the difference in the two cards because one of them I just did a different blue. And I don't always do... Uh, a card before I go live, but sometimes I'm, I do because I just don't want to waste your time. And I actually think both are really pretty, but I, I don't know. I like them both. And now I have two thank you cards. So I'm pretty excited. Oh, and I didn't boop Barb. Okay. I, I know when to boop. The booping is when I have, uh, the booping comes when I have sequins and glue. And I think that's the boop. In fact, that would be a great question to pop up. <laughs> can, I, can I find it? Let me see. Now I can't find it. Um, the boop. Yeah, I think that is definitely a thing. I didn't boop. And you know where I got that from? I just got that from watching Schitt's Creek um, and the show. I'm not swearing on my tutorial um, because uh, she always boops everyone and that just makes me happy and that show makes me happy. So yeah, so that's our finished card project for today. What do you think? Simple, right? Like, so what I wanna, what I wanna remind you of, and let me, let me zoom out a little bit here. So what I want to remind you is like when you get a card like this, okay? Or a stamp set like this, right? And you get all this beautiful goodness in there you know, oh, now I can't find the stamps. Uh, they're here somewhere on my table. Okay, here we go. You get all this beautiful goodness. You know, you can start really simply, right? You don't have to worry about getting it all going at once. In fact, that's my best tip for card makers is, you know, start with whatever is the simplest. So you kind of get something that you like and then you branch out, right? Don't try to use it all at once because I find that to be, I find that to be stressful for me. So um, I'm going to pop up this question. Where do I get a good purple tape with a dispenser? So the purple tape, okay, so this little guy, right, the Easy C tape, this just comes in this dispenser. And this is a new one that I'm trying. Um, I bought a scotch dispenser for my other purple tape, which I cannot reach because it's behind the the laptop, so I can't get back there. But it's just any old tape dispenser that you would get for an office supply. Um, well, there's that. Because, uh, yeah, I, I'm testing this out because I the the newer model of the purple tape from Thermal Web isn't sticking like the old one, and I heard that you have to heat it up. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, and also, if you've asked me a question that I have totally missed, please just post it now because I'm happy to 
you know, I, I might have, uh, <laughs> Barb, yeah, Barb said, I might have said, I might not have said boop, but you heard it in your mind. Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And Jamie, the, I'm going to pop this up because yes, there is a website that sells it too. And I actually had, had reached out for, uh, to Simon to snap and said, let's carry this. Cause card makers, you know, if you don't want to be sure, if you're already buying craft supplies, getting that stamp chamois holder, eh, that's a good thing too. But yeah, uh, because yeah, I got mine originally on, on the Amazon now. Oh, all right. Simon Hurley you should go live again. He's got to get that. Uh, he's got to get that. Oh, I just tried to pop something up here. He's got to get that craft room built. Okay. Marley is wants to know if I had to pick only one heat embossing or die cut machine. Ooh. Mm. Die cut machine. I think I could live without embossing, you know, but the reality is the heat embossing tool is so not expensive by comparison. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I do have a Wagner heat tool. It's a nice one um, that I got right as I, uh, yeah, right as I, right as I started. And, uh, but I would go with the die cut machine. I'm going to answer uh, Laura's question. C and nine camp. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's uh, Concord and ninth is doing a summer camp and I am one of the camp counselors. And what that means is I get to teach live. And so part of this is helping me hone my skills because we have this wonderful event coming um, with a whole bunch of people. If you go to my Instagram, I've got a little uh, slide thing that you can learn more about it. Also on Thursday, the registration opens and Greg the owner of Concord and Ninth is going to be going live on YouTube and Instagram. No, Facebook, not YouTube. Facebook and Instagram to talk about the event. And um, he's just such a good egg and he's such a good designer. I mean, if you know Concord and Ninth, I'm super excited that I get to work with their designs. Um, as a designer, it's always fun to see what other people create and design. And Greg is stellar. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be virtual. And, uh, you know, just coming off of an online event, which kind of blew my mind this weekend for Scrapbook and Cards Today. Um, I think there is a place in our craft community for online instruction. Um, not everybody can travel and fly. And I mean, especially in a, during a pandemic, but just in general, like I, I've never been a person who has a budget to take off and go places. <laughs> That's why I never leave. So scene nine. Okay. Now. Yes. Okay. Well, Robin, you can go back and watch. I know the time zones are crazy. Barb Drake, you can purchase, but I know you have to pay international shipping from Simon Says Stamp and that, you know, you can purchase. They do ship internationally. Um, and yeah, so, uh, Emma, oh, how much does the camp cost? I don't, I think it's $315 for early bird. I could be wrong. I think that's it. Um, but you're getting about $250 worth of uh, exclusive stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Like the stuff that they're designing for the event isn't going to be available in their store. It's gonna, So you're not going to purchase something you already own. And it, it's cute. I've seen the designs. Oh, so cute. Um, I'm not sure what the, what the rewatch is going to be, Angie. But yeah, um, they'll have more information on their website. If you go to concordandnight.com and click on the camp graphic that's down below. There is info on that right now. So that could answer some of your questions. Uh, Emma, do I have a list of favorite uh, Gina K cardstock shades for rainbow? I don't, you know, that's a good question though, because I use her so much, but I can tell you off. Well, can I tell you off the top of my head? Bubblegum, sweet mango, sweet corn, jelly bean green, and sea glass, and, and, and lovely lavender. That's my favorite Gina K rainbow every time. I see it's right here. Oh, yeah. Now, another thing, too, that I had talked to you about. Oh, yeah, his uh, his server uh, for Concord and Ninth, it's going to it's going to be good. You know, um, I, my co-teacher is Laura Bass and we're, we're splitting some time and sharing. We're sharing a subject, which is the turnabout. And to do something with Laura is amazing. Right. Because, I mean, I have her cards on my wall. She's literally my card design icon. Uh, the woman is amazing. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, you should. It's Laura Basson, Laura Fedora. Go follow her on YouTube. Go give her love. I think she is literally brilliant. Just brilliant. Okay. Michelle from Prime Media back here. It's so fun to see some of my old people. Yes. All right, friends. Well, 
I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you so much for coming. I love seeing you in the live. Hey, Vicki, hello. Oh, it's fun to see people that I spent hours watching too. I spent a lot of time watching your channel, Vicki. But, but thank you for being here today. Um, you kind of were the bright spot in what has been a little strange week. Um, another short story. We had a, a small fire in my dryer uh, on Friday of last week. Had to call 911. Had hot firemen in my house that were so nice. And I uh, had to buy a new dryer. I tell you, it's one thing after another. So making cards is a little getaway for me. Sharing these projects with you on a live is also awesome. So thank you so much for coming. Also, if you are not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'd love to have you hit the thumbs up button so that, you know, maybe YouTube recommends this to a few other people. And again, if you're watching on replay, drop me a comment below. I check all my comments. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. So thank you so much for coming and have a fantastic day. Oh, I'll be back here tomorrow. Not live, but Got a lot of YouTube goodness uh, coming all week long. Bye, everyone.